<laughs> Mark, we were talking then about the last time I saw you was at the the uh, premiere of the, the film, the documentary, yeah. So Boys of the Western World, which was shown at the Albert Hall. Mm. That was a documentary <clears throat> about the journey of Spandau Ballet. Yeah. The other thing that you're both known for as well was when you were in the crates, mm. which yeah. was brilliant casting oh, to catch us, catch us both in that. Yeah. And it had a massive impact. It was extremely popular. I thought you were going to do more acting after that, because I know Gary went over to Hollywood. Yeah. I, we both of us went over to Hollywood for a while, but Gary did a few A-list films, yeah. did The Bodyguard. Yeah. And I picked, started doing uh, a few B-list films, right? <laughs> Still do, <laughs> right? Yeah. And uh, so I was being sent all over the place. And I had some great experiences, you know. But uh, one place I went to was Brazil. I went to Rio to make a film. And so uh, I'll tell you this one story. We were up in um, the favela in Rio, and we, it was one of those days we were shooting where the armorer comes down. And the armorer is the guy that brings all the guns yeah. on set. And he, he says, OK, which one, which gun do you want to use for your character? And I'm looking at it thinking, I'll have the small one. I'll have the small gun because it'll fit in my pocket nicely. <laughs> so that day, on the way out of the favela, about four o'clock after filming had finished, four o'clock in the morning, I'm in a car with myself and a driver, and we come up against a set of traffic lights just as you come out of the favela. And, um, and as we pull up at the traffic lights, I see these two guys coming off the pavement, both of them holding guns, right? And as they, their guns are coming closer and closer, and I'm looking at the guns, and as one of them comes to me, I'm looking at it going, yeah, I should have had that gun. <laughs> <laughs> Next minute, it's up against my forehead, up against my temple, and the other gun is in the other driver's door, up against his temple, and these two guys are screaming at us in Portuguese, right? And I don't know what they're saying. I think we're going to be shot any minute. And I, but I start to think, after about 30 seconds of this screaming, I start to think, you know what, I'm going to have to make a move here because I ain't going to get killed. So I start to open the door, and as I open the door, I felt the car door just get jammed off of me. The guy picks me up, slams me against the car, spins me round, looks at me straight in the eye, and he goes, Spandau Ballet. No! <laughs> but then, then, right, he pulls out a bit of paper, puts it on the car roof and goes, can you sign this? <laughs> It turned out they were two plainclothes cops shaking us down. Jeez, you know what? I wasn't expecting any of that. <laughs> I thought, honestly, honestly, I thought this is great. We'll get Martin Kemp on. We'll talk about hairstyles in the 80s. <laughs> but, but for you, but for you, that's not the first time you were close to death. Obviously, you had, you had the, 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 yeah. the, the brain tumours as well. Yeah, I mean, in uh, 95, you know, I was weighing of uh, Vancouver, I got sent over to Vancouver to do a, a show called uh, The Outer Limits. And I was playing this old professor. So I'm in makeup and uh, they're pulling on this old bald wig onto me, you know, with some whiskey gray hairs kind of sticking out. And as they pull the ball cap on, the whole of the makeup wagon goes completely quiet because there's this huge lump on the back of my head. And uh, they sent me home. And the day after I was on the operating table, 10 hours having it chopped out. And do you have a metal plate in your head? Yeah, of course. Yeah, this whole thing here is metal, which is a nightmare when you're on tour with a band going through airports. Of course! <laughs> Absolute <laughs> nightmare. So how do you explain now you go, I've got a metal head? Yeah, but <laughs> I, I try to, but now, you know what, I just go, forget it. Just shake me down because it doesn't matter what they you, you, what know you what tell you them, do. they're going to do it to you anyway. Take your magnet and just go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 With a fridge magnet and go, look, I can't help it. <laughs>